Hello again. Now a roundup of the news in London today. Friends and family members have this lunchtime gathered in Chiswick for the funeral of boxer James Oyebola, who was murdered in a row over smoking. The 47-year-old was shot in the head outside a nightclub in July after reminding a group of men of the new smoking ban. Daisy Gray is at the service for us. Daisy. Yes, Alistair, around 300 mourners gathered here at Our Lady of Grace and St Edward's Church in Chiswick for the service which finished just a few minutes ago. James's family are now making their way to Gunnersbury Cemetery where he'll be buried. May your soul rest in peace is the message on one of the condolence cards left for the 19-year-old who's the 20th teenager to have been stabbed or shot in the capital since the beginning of the year. It's thought that she fell from the third floor window and just below it you can make out some clothing which has been caught on the drain pipe as she fell. Well, an ambulance was called and she was taken to hospital with severe injuries. While well, the police here remain on standby, waiting to arrest Mr Stainsby when he does eventually come down. But there are reports that he has enough food and drink to last him a week, so they may be in for a long wait. Well, London really does feel eerily quiet for a Monday morning rush hour. There are very few cars on the roads and with the transport network virtually ground to a halt, the only people that are out and about are those that have decided to struggle in on foot. Hours of fun with it. What makes this a little bit different is you can actually get yourself photographed with her, something that's quite unusual for somebody as elusive as Kate Moss. Now, if you've got somewhere big enough to fit a sofa like this, you can probably afford the price tag. The whole thing would set you back £27,000. For me, I think I'll be sticking with the two seater version. Temperatures here in London expected to reach record highs today. What better way to spend the day than here at Hampstead Lido? Yes, what a difference a day makes. On Friday, we were basking in the warmest temperatures of the year so far. And today, well, today's been something of a winter wonderland. Well, at five foot four, I'm clearly quite a way off from making the grade. But this really is a fantastic opportunity for any giants out there. Well, I have to say, I felt the temperature of the water and it is absolutely freezing. So the 300 swimmers that have been in through the course of the day have been extremely brave, even little bonkers. But I have a nasty feeling this might be my horror movie moment. As you float about on the roof of the Haywood, there's a real sense that you might paddle off the edge and into the street below. Either that or capsize. <laughs> How do you do backward skating then? <laughs> oh my god! Well, the setting here at Somerset House really is spectacularly beautiful. And there's even a full bar. Although the combination of mild wine and ice is probably potentially pretty dangerous. Especially if you're as rubbish at skating as I am. <laughs> oh my god! Daisy Gray, London Today. Someone's that house.